they say life's what you make of it. Dawner's painting, 40 years weather. Forged Vulcans playing on flax leaves. I am my own harpoon. Hurled into oblivion's night, a lifetime wending back to Eden. Hmm, that's quite interesting reading this again. I must have been, I must have been 40 years old when I wrote this. Well, I am my own harpoon and I am hurled um, um, into oblivion's night because I don't know where I'm going. It's like rolling a dice sometimes. You don't really know, you know. I hurl my harpoon in it and um, it may strike gold, it may not. <laughs> As you get older, you begin to appreciate yourself more. When I was young, I was, I didn't like the way I looked. And then gradually, I, I grew into myself. I lost my last tooth and the dentist said, oh, we have to do an implant, oh, oh, you know. I said, no, just pull it out. Oh, no, he said, and I said, look, Actually, I, I, I quite, I'd quite like to look like a pirate. <laughs> I don't have to be anyone other than myself. I like alternative stuff. I'm not mainstream. I have to keep making things to, to maintain my sanity. And simple things, repurposed things. So I might find a, an old piece of timber and reuse that. All of the metal I use is scrap metal. I've learned to live life very simply on very little. For a lot of my contemporaries, Living like this is not normal. They'd come in here and they, they have a fit. There's no dishwasher, there's no microwave, there's, um, everything's a bit unmodern. Just having what I need, no more, that to me is in a funny way honouring all of those that have gone before me. I can be a curmudgeon at times. <laughs> Mostly, it's, a lot of that's even tongue in cheek. No, it's just not too much to be grumpy about. I like what I see out there, so that keeps me buoyant. The smell of different timbers when you're planing them. The sound that the plane makes on the timber. The spider's webs. The smell of earth when you're digging it. The smell of apples as they quietly rot on the ground. There's a certain amount of pleasure to be taken out of all of those things. Believe it or not, I even get a bit of pleasure out of doing the dishes. Anyone can access these things, but I think that we cover those things up. Sometimes people think, oh no, that's even dirty and we're looking for new sensations that cost money perhaps, like going to a cafe every day or a new car. We've replaced beauty with, with what money can purchase and we think that anything below that is not worthy. And I think that the only worthy things are all below that. Life. It's not complicated. It throws complications up, but they're simple complications. I had a partner who died of cancer in 2001. <coughs> Still touching that one. <laughs> that wasn't a complication, but it did throw up lots of issues that I had to deal with, and sadness, loneliness, um, but they were simple. Things are always going to happen, you accept them for what they are and you learn to live 
around them, inside them, outside of them. However it happens, you learn to live. Step forward. Move forward through life. Don't look back too much. Just move forward. The meaning of life, I think, is to live fully, not plastic pleasure, not tinsel town pleasure, to live and enjoy simply life until you die, which we all do. And we are put on earth a little space that we may learn to bear the beams of love. William Blake. To all of you who have contributed, for those of you who've shared our films, for those of you who have written our comments, this journey is just beginning. And we've put a Patreon link below our films, so if you would like to continue to support us, we'd love for you to donate below. Thanks so much.